a very good evening class 10th and 11th today's class is about stream selection when you go from class 11 to class 12th you are supposed to decide which subjects are you going to take up your school would be floating the form to fill up the subject choices so i am talking to class 10th who are going to class 12 11th for their subject choices and for class 11th who have already opted for their subject i'll be doing a series of videos on stream choices and career counseling which is very close to my heart this particular topic so in today's class i'll be discussing for science streams so if you are in class 10th and you are thinking of opting for science the first thing that you should know is science mein subjects kaun se milte hain first choice of subject is called as pcm wale subjects wo kya hote hain physics chemistry maths is pcm english saath mein milta hai plus jo fifth subject hai wo generally change hota hai मतलब इंग्लिश मैथ्स फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री के साथ कंप्यूटर साइंस बायोलॉजी फिजिकल एजुकेशन साइकोलॉजी कुछ स्कूल्स में इकोनॉमिक्स भी है एज अ फिफ्थ सब्जेक्ट कुछ स्कूल्स में सिक्स सब्जेक्ट्स देते हैं मतलब इंग्लिश फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री तो पक्का होगा उसके बाद मैथ्स आप लो ना लो आपके पास चॉइस है बायोलॉजी आप लो ना लो आपके पास चॉइस है कॉम्बिनेशन लेना पड़ता है दो सब्जेक्ट्स का कुछ बच्चे मैथ्स एंड बायो लेते हैं कुछ बच्चे बायो एंड साइकोलॉजी लेते हैं कुछ बच्चे मैथ्स एंड सीएस लेते हैं पर फिजिकल एजुकेशन इज द सिक्स सब्जेक्ट्स जो कुछ स्कूल्स में कंपलसरी होता है क्यों सिक्स सब्जेक्ट्स फिजिकल एजुकेशन एक बहुत लाइट सब्जेक्ट होता है और उसमें ना आप फिर ट्वेल्थ क्लास में फेल नहीं होते हो तो स्कूल का ना रिजल्ट सफर नहीं करता क्योंकि जनरली साइंस के बच्चों को कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट ज्वाइन करना पड़ता है एंट्रेंसेस के लिए सो so, उनका स्ट्रेस ज्यादा हो जाता है तो सब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ स्कूल में उतना दे डोंट पुट इन मच अटेंशन तो एक सब्जेक्ट ऐसा कर देते हैं फिजिकल एजुकेशन जैसा क्योंकि रिजल्ट इज ऑन द बेस्ट ऑफ फाइव इंग्लिश के बाद फोर सब्जेक्ट्स का अगर कोई भी एक सब्जेक्ट आपका खराब हो गया तो फिजिकल एजुकेशन उसकी जगह पर सब्सटीट्यूट हो जाएगा और आप पास हो ही जाओगे तो आपके स्कूल का रिजल्ट सफर नहीं करता फाइन चलिए तो टूडेज क्लास टूडेज वीडियो इज बेस्ड ऑन साइंस सब्जेक्ट्स आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट पी सी एम विथ कंप्यूटर साइंस इज द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडे सो इफ यू आर ऑप्टिंग फॉर साइंसेस एंड योर सब्जेक्ट्स आर इंग्लिश मैथ्स फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री कंप्यूटर साइंस और सिक्स सब्जेक्ट फिजिकल एजुकेशन है उसके बारे में मैं अभी नहीं बात कर रही इंग्लिश का सब्जेक्ट की कोई टेंशन नहीं होती है क्लास इलेवंथ और ट्वेल्थ में क्योंकि आपको आदत है टेंथ में भी आपने इंग्लिश हंड्रेड मार्क का पेपर किया है एटी मार्क का पेपर किया है वो ही इलेवंथ में है तो इंग्लिश इज नॉट अ कॉज ऑफ कंसर्न मैथ्स इज आल्सो नॉट अ कॉज ऑफ कंसर्न अगर आप मैथ्स में अच्छे हैं तभी आप साइंस ले पाएंगे साइंस लें चाहे कॉमर्स लें मैथ्स सेम लेवल की है नाउ कमिंग टू साइंसेस प्रॉब्लम कब आती है कि साइंस आपका क्लास टेंथ में फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री बायो मिलाकर एक सब्जेक्ट होता है और कई बार क्या होता है आप फिजिक्स में अच्छे नहीं हैं लेकिन केमिस्ट्री एंड बायो में यू आर गुड सो योर स्कोर्स आर हाई इन देम सो यू गेट अ गुड स्कोर इन साइंस या फिर एनी वन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट इज नॉट गुड बट यू गुड यू स्कोर वेल इन साइंस बिकॉज इट्स अ क्यूमुलेटिव रिजल्ट ऑफ फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री एंड बायोलॉजी विच इज शोन टू यू बट वंस यू टेकअप साइंस फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री बायोलॉजी सिंगल सब्जेक्ट्स हो जाते हैं तो जनरली बच्चों को केमिस्ट्री और फिजिक्स इलेवेंथ में आके बहुत मुश्किल लगता है एंड पेरेंट्स कंप्लेन कि टेंथ तक तो साइंस में ये बहुत अच्छा था इलेवेंथ में आके पता नहीं क्या हो गया इलेवेंथ में आके ये हो गया कि जो वन थर्ड केमिस्ट्री यू यूज टू स्टडी इन क्लास टेंथ इट हैज बिकम वन फुल सब्जेक्ट और उतना सारा केमिस्ट्री का बेस आपका स्ट्रांग नहीं है सो so, अगर आपको केमिस्ट्री के फॉर्मूला लिखने में प्रॉब्लम होती है आपको फॉस्फेट सल्फेट सल्फाइट नहीं समझ में आता तो आपको इलेवेंथ में बहुत दिक्कत होगी सो प्लीज वेन यू चूज अप केमिस्ट्री केमिस्ट्री के बिना देर इज नो साइंस सब्जेक्ट इफ यू हैव टू टेक अप साइंस केमिस्ट्री इज कंपल्सरी इन ऑल फील्ड वेन यू ऑप्ट फॉर क्लास इलेवेंथ का साइंस केमिस्ट्री में यू शुड बी गुड इन फॉर्मूला राइटिंग यू शुड बी गुड इन मोल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ तो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू जज वेदर यू विल बी एबल टू डू केमिस्ट्री और नॉट थिंक वेदर यू कैन राइट द केमिकल फॉर्मूलाज करेक्टली और Did you like mole concept in class नाइन्थ अगर plus periodic table पूरा का पूरा chapter of class टेंथ comes to class इलेवेंथ carbon and its compounds the full chapter is again developed in class इलेवेंथ class इलेवेंथ science is much tougher because 
up to class 10th you have been studying science and the foundation is done in class 11th there is a huge jump in science because the foundation is already done so and your subjects ka weightage increases because your subject goes from 1/3 to a full subject chemistry ki importance dusri kai mein all your entrances ko clear karne ke liye chemistry chahiye एंट्रेंस के एंट्रेंस तो बेटा साइंस के लिए लेना ही पड़ेगा यू कैन नॉट गो इन टू एनी कॉलेज वेदर इट्स फॉर मेडिसिन बाय नीट और वेदर इट्स फॉर इंजीनियरिंग बाय जे मीन्स यू विल हैव टू अपीयर फॉर एमसीक्यूज ऑफ केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स एंड मैथ्स और केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स जोलॉजी एंड बॉटनी इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट नीट सो वेन यू टॉक अबाउट केमिस्ट्री केमिस्ट्री इज द ईजियर पार्ट वेन यू हैव टू क्रैक योर एंट्रेंस क्योंकि केमिस्ट्री का सिलेबस एंट्रेंस का और सीबीएसई का सेम है फाइव परसेंट का डिफरेंस होगा सो इफ यू आर गुड इन सीबीएसई केमिस्ट्री योर एंट्रेंस ऑफ जे मेन्स वुड आल्सो बी डन वेल विद रिस्पेक्ट टू केमिस्ट्री जितने भी ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी क्वेश्चन होते हैं आपके जे मेन्स में फॉर केमिस्ट्री फिर इलेवंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ में दे आर बेस्ड ऑन योर सीबीएसई सो यू डोंट नीड टू पुट अ स्पेशल एफर्ट फॉर केमिस्ट्री टू क्लियर द एंट्रेंस नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट फिजिक्स Physics is considered generally tough because it is an application based subject. Ek to in class of 10th you had just one third physics. Now this physics has increased. Class 11th in the physics chapters you have wave mechanics, simple harmonic motion, laws of motion wala jo 9th mein padha tha that gets developed in class 11th. What you study in class 10th that is electricity and optics develops in class 12th. so your base of class 9th as well as base of class 10th should be good for you to continue physics in class 11th subjects when you choose it should not be that i want to be an engineer so i'm taking up science no that's wrong you should be in a position to say i love to study physics i love to study chemistry i love to study maths only then can you opt for science that's the way to decide whether you have to opt which particular subjects physics is a application based subject numerical based subject hai thoda sa kuch change kar denge the numerical changes your answer changes so it requires a lot of practice for numericals chemistry comparatively has got 25% numericals rest is not numericals 25% is numericals 20% is understanding the rest is learning so chemistry requires a lot of learning if you are opting for science maths is a game of practice as it was in class 9th and 10th also so it is not much students of science do not worry much about maths they worry much about physics and chemistry chemistry is essential for your entrance as i said coming to the fifth subject cs these days cbse has changed c++ to python python is an easier language but the problem is you do not study python from the school for your entrance physics chemistry maths ke liye to you have to study at two places school and your coaching institute but when we come to cs it's a fifth subject it is not going to be asked in entrance so you don't study number 1 secondly neither do you study in school and for coaching institute you don't opt for computer science so generally computer science suffers so you people become weak in computer science your language becomes weak you cannot handle coding aur phir kya problem hoti hai entrance to aapka ho bhi jaye ek bar ko maan lete hain entrance clear kar liya you went into engineering ultimately you opt for computer engineering then ya fir it then in that case you get stuck in coding and your jobs are on the basis of coding interviews so if you are opting for engineering generally people go for cs there again coding is required the base of coding is developed in class 11th and 12th so you are in a problem then apart from that for a science student coaching institute is to be joined if you want to clear your je mains coaching institute mein there are two options weekday batches and weekend batches weekday batches join karte hain to school suffer karta your cbse is bad without the base of cbse you will never be able to crack your entrance so you have to take up school cbse syllabus 
on priority only then the entrance syllabus can be built up but if you take the weekend batch to problem kahan hoti hai since you do not study regularly you normally plan to study your school syllabus on the weekend and for weekend you go to your coaching institute they give you a lot of homework then that carries over the weekdays so time management is also another problem for science students after your school of 8 hours you need to spend around 1 and 1/2 to 2 hours for school work practical files homeworks whatever was done in the school is to be redone for the next day then you have to also join a coaching institute for which you require roughly around 6 to 7 hours a week is the class plus your commuting time so you have to study a lot in sciences and the syllabus is generally considered tough so only if your base is really really strong in physics and chemistry only then think up of science and you're really ready to work very hard once you have opted for science i would advise please join the coaching institute as early as possible because if you join the first batch you are at an advantage for example if you have a marriage in the family you could not attend classes then they give you a choice to attend the second batch because the second batch would be going slower you are already ahead so if at all you are planning to go into science and you are planning to go in for engineering field then you have to go for a je mains you will have to join a coaching institute because cbsc gears you up for basics mcq practice ke liye coaching institute will have to be joined plus physics for entrance is roughly around 25% different than cbsc maths is 40 to 45% different than cbsc and it requires a lot of effort chemistry is only 5% different from cbsc so chemistry is a savior so if you are not good at chemistry please do not think of opting for science because you will not be able to clear any entrances that is my advice for you people those of you who are in the stream of science are planning to opt for science after your class 10th in case you are opting for biology the option is please do not go for maths and biology together that is a criminal choice these two are two heavy subjects it is an altogether two different fields and you will not be in a position to clear any of the fields normally students feel i will have more choice i can go for engineering i can even go for medicine but that doesn't happen i have hardly seen 2% students who are actually able to manage maths as well as biology together and they ultimately do something in life normally these people leave biology and join some or the other engineering colleges because for neat the seats are very less and for private colleges of medicine then in that case the cost is too high so it becomes too high on the pocket of your parents if you are going for a private college government college the seats are very less in case of neat your medicine so you then end up into homeopathy or physiotherapy or some radiology courses or some path lab courses that is your paramedical is what i have observed so if you are keen on medicine please don't opt for maths only then will you be able to clear your neat otherwise it is not going to be possible so with bio i would advise either you take physical education so that that stress of one subject is over and you can focus on your neat where you have to give physics chemistry biology is divided into zoology and botany or else you can take psychology bio and psychology is a good option psychology is again a rote learning subject but psychology ki problem kya hai ncert line by line answer mein chahiye hota hai means your ncert ke terms have to be used in the answer script when you are appearing for your psychology paper fine physics ke liye understanding from ncert is slightly tough so students generally use other books to understand sl aroda hai there's another good book i don't remember the name that is a good for basics books but the, after that you can do the ncert initially with ncert it's difficult chemistry ke liye ncert solely all solved questions unsolved questions in text questions inside questions exercise questions everything line by line ncert and you are bound to score 95% marks in cbsc 
and entrance syllabus is almost same. So that's a win-win situation. So please, for chemistry, follow the NCERT. For psychology, follow the NCERT and use the terms of NCERT in your answers. Fine. I'll be doing my next video on commerce and then on humanities on my guidance for class 10 students to opt out for subjects. Please do share the video with other class 10 students who are struggling as to which particular subject to opt out. Fine. Do well in life. Stay blessed. Stay happy. Stay connected. Bye.